Hi. Today I'm thinking about the young people, especially the young girls. Um, you could be in a terrible situation where you're with someone who doesn't love you, such as your adopted mother, um, terrible friends who try to use you, not knowing how to choose a boyfriend because you never really had a mother and they didn't tell you enough about men and um, or or either they didn't even know about men and you're just kind of like out there like swinging from a clothesline. I bet you don't even know what a clothesline is showing my age. But um, I just want to tell you that as long as you hold on to a bad shit situation, the longer it's going to take for you to see the good parts of life. As long as you in between the age of 20 to 25 maybe 27 you're going to be hurt there's going to be some hurtful things happen so you can be aware of that and when it happened you can say she said that because that's just how it go you don't know shit when you 20 and something 20 something you just think you know everything but you don't and those things have to be learned but when you're getting high, smoking weed, drinking, it paralyzes you. And it's like, whatever age you start getting high at is the age that your maturity levels off at. You have some great ideas as far as how to dress, um how older people should have their house and things they should have but you got to look at yourself too and think about what you're supposed to be having what you're supposed to be doing um getting high and just think the thing you know like i know you're young and you want to get high, but you gotta put a you gotta put a harness on that shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't do it every day. You're not realizing, like I said earlier, the longer you hold on to this negative situation, the longer you're gonna have to hold on, and the longer people can misuse you. You gotta get out here and start fresh and not to jump out with no preparation is this thing on okay not to get out with no preparation i don't know you you get more benefits from working than than from anything i know you know going to school and see, I know, one thing I do know is you are a smart young lady. And if you had the, um, if you had the self-discipline, you could run a business as long as it's legal. Wow, she doing what I wish I was doing. See, I need self-discipline. <laughs> I'm getting there. I had um, accidentally marked a red X. Oh, when I mark a red X, that means I exercised that day. And I had accidentally marked a red X on today. So I had to come out, even though it's evening. So, yeah. You know, that's nice to see an older lady like myself out here with gray hair running. That's what I'm talking about. And see, that goes for you. <laughs> You have to be around the kind of people who are doing what the hell you want to do. I know it's scary 
it's scary to think about leaving your mom's house so-called mom and you left there once before excuse me i just ate some potato chips but i'm a good lady i didn't eat overeat nothing else today but anyway i know it's scary leaving your adopted mother's house and getting out here in the world and you got out here before and failed that's all a part of learning you got to look at how you failed and vow not to do that again not to have those things happen you bought tattoos instead of paying your rent talking about your uh, your roommate it was your roommate's turn to pay rent you have to keep some money mm -hmm. put away that you don't touch for emergencies. You don't want to have to sleep with a man you don't know. You don't want to have to do no unsightly shit like that. You're too good for that. And that's another thing. You got to tell yourself that you are good because you are. Man, are you good and you can't even see it. I'm going to have to turn this into part two. Because I could go on and on forever. Um, I'm going to talk for a few more minutes. I mean, for up to seven minutes and turn this off. So that I can upload it. But, um. You are a very precious young lady. And you haven't been told properly. You have been mistreated. And don't hold that to your heart. Don't even, don't even concentrate on it. Because more importantly than what you eat is your thoughts. You need to think positively. Now let me get back to you on the part too.